Hey guys, what's up? It's Mina and today I will be doing a get ready with me. I just thought this would be really fun. Um, it is currently, let me turn my phone on silent so it doesn't go off during this video. It's currently 8.22. I have to leave for school at 8.55. I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me and do this video. So let's get started. So before the normal video plays, I just want a disclaimer. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. This is not a tutorial in any ways. If you want to use it as a tutorial, cool. But I'm not claiming that this is one. This is just a fun get ready with me video. Also, before the video starts, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That helps my channel become more discovered. So thank you for that in advance. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm pretty sure it's down there, but maybe it's on that side. Not sure. Also hit that notification bell. So I already have my face with moisturizer, sunscreen, and facial oil on it. Um, and we're just gonna go right in with the makeup. So I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever palette. This is just a custom palette that I made. Um, a bunch of ColourPop shadows, mainly ColourPop. There's some makeup geek in here. Um, today I'm feeling a really like pink look. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm sorry y'all, I'm really thirsty. It's, it's the morning, I gotta like get my water in. Okay, so first for priming, I don't have an actual eye primer, so I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Light Peach. Stick this on my eyelids. Gorgeous. Just gonna blend that in. Beauty Blender. Well, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Sponge. Um, I've actually never tried the Beauty Blender, but I have tried the Real Technique Sponge, and I like this one a lot better. It's just bouncier, and I just like how it holds the water better and how it puts product on my face better. I'm sorry, you guys. I have very awkward speech. Um, okay, so let's see what we're going to start with. Um, like I said, I'm feeling really pink today, but I am going to do a neutral transition color. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is, let me look and see what shade this is. I think it's a ColourPop shade. Yes, it's the ColourPop shade in IOU. I don't know if my camera's going to focus, but that's fine. And this is the e.l.f. Fluffy Eye Blender Brush, so I'm just going to... Blend that right in. I don't use anything to set my concealer um, because this just makes the pigments show up a lot better. As you can see, this is kind of like a peachy, orangey sort of a color. It's a good transition. No matter what kind of eye look you're doing, I recommend using more of a neutral transition. Like if you're doing a blue look, start with a brown. If you're doing a peach, I mean if you're doing a pink look, like what I'm doing right now, do a peachy transition color. Just trying to get that blended in. Gorgeous. So, by the way, I just have a tissue right here um, cause I haven't washed my brushes yet. It's been a, like four days since I washed my brushes. So just to get excess product off, I just like, so, <laughs> um, next I'm going to be taking another ColourPop shade in the shade, this is Flower Boy and I'm going to be taking the, go back in the palette. Okay. ColourPop fluffy eye blender brush and I'm just going to layer that on top. Now you guys, I am in no means a makeup artist, so like if you're following this, like being like, oh my god, tutorial! No, not a tutorial. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so next, I'm going to take, this is a Morphe M5, what? M514 brush. It's just kind of like a fluffy, fluffier blending brush, but it's a little bit more, it's a, I can't talk, it's a little smaller than the ColourPop one. And I'm going to be taking the shade, and this is ColourPop Making Moves. And I'm just going to put, 
Just gonna blend that in to the crease. Just defining it a little bit more. Give it a little more depth and definition. Beautiful. Okay. Next I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M433 brush. If you watch James Charles, you know what this brush is. It's a very, very nice crease brush. Um, and I'm going to be taking ColourPop. This is ColourPop Sand. It's a very, very hot pink. Ooh! Look at that. Can you guys see that on the brush? Jesus. Go back in the palette. Okay. Now this is a pressed pigment, so technically you're not supposed to use it straight on the eyes because it can cause staining, but whatever. It's okay. Who doesn't want pink eyelids? Actually, no, that would make me look really tired. Or sick. Oh well. I'm really just putting this right, 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 right into the crease. Not blending it up. Nothing like that. It's just going right there. So as you can see, she's looking a little crazy, so we gotta blend it out a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back in with the Morphe 514 brush and that color making moves and just blending this out just a little bit more. Just blending it upwards just a little bit. Trying to soften it. And there we go. I think this looks actually really, really pretty. Um, now I want to kind of define my outer V. So we are gonna go in. I'm sorry if you guys see me like checking off to the side or whatever. I'm make I'm like checking how much time I have and all that jazz. Um let me find the brush. So actually I'm just gonna darken things up real fast. This is an elf crease brush, the three bucks. Get it, you guys. And then I'm going to be taking this is ColourPop Cute Alert. It's like a purpley toned brown. I'm just gonna be taking it in. Just mainly focusing that on the outer corner, but lightly blending it into the crease. So then like it looks a little bit smoother. Do you guys ever feel like one eye is always turning out better than the other? Because that's how I feel right now. Alright, so now that that's just a little bit more defined, I'm actually going to like super define the crease. And I'm going to be taking a Morphe 562 brush. This is just a tiny little baby... Oh, okay, that needs cleaned. <laughs> Let's rub that on the <laughs> tissue, shall we? And I'm just going to be taking... I'm trying to get it out. This is a Makeup Geek shadow in the color Dark Roast. It's just a very dark brown. Just going to define that outer V. Oh, oopsie daisy. Grab the wrong color. Pretty simple eye look at the moment. Yeah. So now that we have that like nice matte kind of look going on, I do want to add some shimmer. So I just got the Kathleen Lights pigment. This is in the Ram. And I've never had a loose pigment before, so it's a little scary. Um, but I'm just gonna... I used it yesterday, so this brush is already sparkly with it. Um, this is a... I think it's the ColourPop medium shader brush. I don't know. They, an order got to me late and so they just gave it to me for free and I was like, okay. Uh, I am gonna take a little bit of Max Fix Plus, just spray that on here. <coughs> I got it <laughs> in my mouth, that's disgusting. 
Um, and just gonna take some of that loose pigment onto the brush. This is a very scary process, you guys, because it's like literally just like chunks of glitter. <laughs> And I don't really want anything like too, too crazy. I'm not gonna like carve out the crease or anything because I just want this to look a little bit more natural today. So I'm just gonna go right in with this. see like it just like loads onto this brush it's insane oh <laughs> did you see that it just fall from my face oh oh my god I can feel it just ah okay I got in my contact that's fantastic well my face is very shiny today nothing wrong with that is there so I'm done with my eyes. I like this look, it's just kind of neutral, natural. I'm gonna take like the not dirty side of the tissue and just wipe away glitter and stuff. And now it's time to do my face. Wait, hold on, I still, oh my gosh. Oh, gonna annoy me for the rest of the day. Um, <laughs> glitter all in my <laughs> makeup drawer. Okay, so for primer, off of my fingers so like I don't don't like get glitter on my face okay for primer I'm going to take the Ulta Beauty poreless poreless face primer this is just a baby size of it because I wanted to test it out it's actually really good I plan on purchasing a full size of it it's very silicone which typically I don't like these kinds of primers but it really like grips onto my makeup and just looks really freaking good. So just rubbing that into my face. And here, actually while that sets, I'm actually gonna go back in with the color sandbar and just put that more in my crease because like glitter is like getting in my crease and I don't like that. So just to, there we go. And plus it's gonna make the look a lot pinker. You guys can't tell already. I love ColourPop. There we go. I like that. It looks good. So I'm just kind of letting this primer set into my face. And I'm not sure what kind of foundation I'm feeling today. I want to use cream products, so I know the L'Oreal True Match is not going to be a good option because whenever I wear this and I wear it with cream products, um, it breaks up on my face where I have the cream products, which not a big fan of, obviously. Don't want my foundation breaking up on my face, but it is a really nice foundation. Um, I think, I'm not sure. I think I'm feeling the Revlon Candid. This is the, yeah, Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. I actually really have been liking this thing lately. It's pretty good. So I'm just gonna squeeze some on my hand. I'm gonna get like one and a half pumps. There we go. And then I've actually never tried this with a brush before, so let's try it with a brush. This is the Morphe M6 brush. Um, I'm not sure if I should like boom, 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 or like boom, 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 boom. Let's stick it on my face first. extra on my hand so I'm just gonna take that on a brush. Just kinda gonna like stamp it into my skin. This is just like a flat top kabuki brush. And I've actually really been enjoying it. I'm looking a little cakey, so we're just gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible. 
sponge and I'm just kind of gonna dab it on my face. It's gonna pull any excess product off of my face and just make it look a little bit more natural. Which, who doesn't want? You want your face to look like skin. Which I feel like this foundation does really, really well. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Candid Concealer that matches the foundation. Oh, I don't, I didn't tell you what shades I have. Um, in the foundation, I have the shade 130, and then in the concealer, I have the shade 005. I'm pale, you guys. So I kind of like this because like it looks like a squeezy tube, but then it comes out with like this cool like doe foot applicator. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice, y'all. So I'm just gonna stick that right under my eyes. And blend that in with the L'Oreal Infallible. So I like this, I feel like my skin is looking very healthy. I do have like redness like right here, so I am gonna cover that with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have mine in the shade Eggshell. It's a little light for me, but I'll make it work. But it'll kind of define where I put contour in a hot second. Hold on. Now that that's blended into the skin, we're going to do powder. I'm taking the Cover FX Setting Powder. This is the translucent, trans, 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 translucent shade, and I'm just going to be taking that on... This is a Real Techniques setting brush, so just take that. And I typically don't set my whole face because my skin actually... Is, it's pretty normal, but it is on the drier side, so personally I just don't like setting my entire face. But I will get under my eyes. And kind of just where I put that concealer. So now it's time for bronzer, cheeks, blush, highlighter, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in uh, Ticket to Brazil and take it on. This is just a giant flower beauty, like, I think it's technically a powder brush, but like I like these kinds of brushes for bronzer because it just like makes everything look more diffused and natural and just like it. Tap off excess, and I actually kind of put bronzer like in like my contour regions because I feel like whenever I go in with contour, it just looks a little better. So this is a very very light bronzer on my skin, like extremely light bronzer. But that's kind of good because I don't want anything superly duperly bronzy today. I wanted something super bronzy, I would take the Burt's Bees, technically a blush, but in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. That's actually, I might take a little bit of that because I just want a little bit more bronze. So yeah, Burt's Bees blush and Toasted Cinnamon. Same brush, but this has a lot. This is very, very pigmented. And it's a bit more orangey, so it's going to be more of a bronze color. There we go. That's pretty. So next for contour, I'm going to be taking, this is a Morphe R4 brush. I'm going to be taking the Balm Bahama Mama. This is like a bronzer contour -y shade. It's just like a nice gray toned bronzer and I will use this like as an actual bronzer sometimes. But I love that it can double as a contour. So that's what we're gonna do. And just stick that right in the hollows of my cheeks a little bit. I do like to contour up just a little bit too.
I'm honestly not a huge fan of like, um, like super chiseled faces. Unless that's just the look I'm going for today, but it's not. So next I'm going to do blush. I'm going to be taking the Morphe E4 brush and I'm going to use a ColourPop blush. Yeah, let's go in the shade Never Been Kissed. This is very, very bright, but since it's a super shock blush, this brush is not going to pick it up super duper well, um, which is kind of nice because this is very, very pigmented. My cheeks are naturally just very rosy, so I don't really need to apply like a ton, a ton of blush, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm feeling a light, kind of soft highlight, so I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the color Lunch Money, and I'm just going to take that on my finger and just kind of dab it on my cheekbones because I'm not feeling anything super stark. And this is just gonna give like a nice little glow. Ooh, okay, went a little bit more than I meant to, but that's okay. Get a little bit on my nose. There we go, just natural little glow. Um, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and I actually have like a zit like right in my eyebrow right now, and it's driving me insane. So I'm actually gonna do blah, 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 attempt to cover it real fast with the e.l.f. camo concealer. You guys, I like this concealer, but the packaging is so messy. It drives me insane. Let me do the other side so this doesn't look so... Ah, I got too much. Yeah. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, looks like we're using some sponge real fast. That's not a sponge. There we go. Um, so I'm not feeling anything super stark for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This completely popped off. Um, this is in the shade Medium Brown. And I'll just take a little spoolie. it like this it's just very natural neutral just looks like my natural brows but like with a couple like sparse areas filled in which is my personal preference so now I know this probably seems a little backwards to you guys but this is just how I do my makeup I'm gonna do this like little lower lash line part real fast I'm taking the morphe m504 brush and I'm taking that color sandbar again I'm sticking that right on the lower lash line looks natural neutral I like it and now it is time for mascara so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first ah goodness gracious and now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal uh, lash paradise mascara it's so good y'all Okay, there's there's just a giant little clump right there. Thank you for that, L'Oreal. Oh, nope. Okay, my Jesus goodness. Okay, that's better. Ah! I just got mascara all over my makeup. What is wrong with me? Most 
of the time I would go in with a second coat, but I'm honestly just not feeling it today. I kind of like just this like natural kind of lash. So I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray real fast. And let's put on some lip stick real fast. I'm going to do something kind of neutral. I'm taking the Morphe lipstick. It's a cream finish in the shade Hey Sugar. It's just very neutral, natural. I like it. Cute. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up that helps my channel get more discovered and also please subscribe the button is somewhere down below not positive what side it's on and also ring the notification bell so then you are notified every time I upload a new video thank you guys so so much for watching I love you guys so much